poppin' tea squad it's your girl keisha and i am here with a brand new all tea all shade video first up i have some news on none other than love and marriage huntsville reality stars destiny Peyton williams and broke tail halt looks like they recently just did a event with dr heavenly dr heavenly posted these pictures of the three of them and it was at the hbcu heroes award ceremony and martel and destiny were there interesting that's cute okay looks like destiny is sitting next to dr heavenly in this second picture you can tell that's the top of her dress seems like her and martel are on good terms as far as dr heavenly and martel uh martel in this linen suit the sleeves look like he about to spontaneously combust i feel like destiny should have had on his outfit and he should have had on destiny's outfit because destiny's outfit was giving me very much mummy uh it's giving me very much i took the sheets off of my bed and wrapped it around me and made a dress real quick because i ain't had nothing else to wear it's not very flattering on her shape and i don't know what the hell is going on with this her child but we ain't gonna even talk about that uh but yeah i think that her that broke tail suit would have been way more fitted for her uh and he should have had on her mummy dress uh dr heavenly looks nice you know she got her hair pulled together like the little fendi dress you know she looked nice for an older woman she looks nice you know dr heavenly works my nerves so that's all i'm gonna say on her but uh it's cute to see destiny and broke tail doing events together mm-hmm mm-hmm <laughs> child i'm gonna leave it there what y'all think about this whole situation or is it a situation at all let's talk down below in the comment section child now you all know that asap rocky was recently just arrested after returning from vacation in barbados with rihanna who is literally moments away from giving birth to their first child together the police um, caught up with them as they were getting off the plane. They did a search and seizure at his home at the same time. I mean, they act like this man was from the Taliban, Jesus. Um, the whole case to me sounds like they're targeting him for whatever reason because the accused the victim is saying that he was friends with ASAP Rocky, but then when it came time to identify um asap he said that he didn't know how he looked for real he couldn't identify child the story was just all over the place this alleged shooting um happened back in like november december something like that or october or something like that but they just not filing the person just not filing a police report like six months later this person alleged that asap shot at him and grazed him Girl, it, the whole story is just a bunch of mess. Um, I don't know what the hell is going on with it. I don't know. They just, when they searched his house, all they came out with was paperwork. They didn't find a gun or anything like that. ASAP was taken to jail where he posted a $550,000 bond and was released. Um, details on the rumor shooting are scarce, but ASAP bari one of the co one of the co-founders of the asap mob which also includes asap ferd claimed that longtime affiliate asap really is the one who snitched on rocky it's always somebody you know always somebody you know and this is what i saw somebody say on a youtube video that it probably was an inside person somebody that you know was locked up and would have got reduced time or set free if they snitched on somebody because the whole thing just does not make sense but anywho 
This is the alleged guy who allegedly snitched on ASAP. Um, ASAP Bari posted a photo, photo of Rally and wrote, This rat ass nigga told on Rocky. The official ASAP Mob blog has referred to Relly in the past as instrumental in the mob's influence on the industry and credits him as being the lead A&R behind Ghetto Symphony from Rocky's 2013 debut album. Now, I hope that this fool, well, he did do it because he posted this picture. Why would you post that, that this rat-ass nigga told on Rocky? Like, you just admitted that your friend did something that he had no business doing. Like, people, do you use judgment? Do you use the brain that God gave you? You're not helping your friend. You're hindering your friend. Barry what the hell is going on with you boo shut up shut up shut up y'all niggas talk too much haven't y'all heard of a code of silence jesus be quiet then he posted um word to my dead i'm ready to lose it all nigga dead shot at me my patience is running thin if you help that man get me out of my hotel, don't come back to New York. I don't know what that means, but it goes on to say, Relly also seems to be the person who Rocky shot, grazing his left hand. Relly seemingly shared the above message on his IG story at some point and added in another, if you still rocking with ASAP in front of your name, you happy with being a grown ass mascot point blank oh so that's what oh okay so really said word to my dead i'm ready to lose it all nigga did shot me shot me my patience is running thin if you help that man get me out of my hotel don't come back to new york oh okay oh this is just messy i feel like i'm watching an episode of csi what is going on jesus this is too much for my christian blood Mm -mm. Everybody just needs to have several. What would you do for a Klondike bar? <laughs> Everybody need a hug. Where is y'all mamas? Do anybody love you? Somebody loves you, baby. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Somebody loves you, baby. And you know who it is. It ain't me. But, uh, yeah, this whole situation is crazy. You know, I just feel bad for Rihanna and the baby at this point because, you know, she's literally days away from giving birth. Don't nobody need all this, you know, negativity in their life when they're days away from giving birth to their first child. But then again, this is what comes along with the territory with dating a rapper who's been to jail multiple times and been problematic in the past. But maybe he's trying to change. You know, he's cleaning up his act. You know, we haven't really seen ASAP being the new for anything negative since his arrest a few years ago over there in Scotland, New Zealand, wherever the fuck he was at. He's been pretty quiet and tame and, you know, on his best behavior since then. So, you know, everybody deserves a second chance, you know. I just pray that Rihanna has a safe um, delivery. I heard that the rumor is that she allegedly had to cancel her baby shower i wouldn't have canceled my fucking baby shower girl fuck that we don't know if that's true though who knows but uh um, just bless the baby can't wait to see him or her i really feel like she's having a girl i don't think that she's having a boy at all i feel like she's having a girl can't wait to see the baby can't wait to see what they name her i know that her name is going to be so cute and she's just going to be a little cutie little pie Oh, I hope that she's a little chocolate drop. Hmm. I wonder, will it have an R name? Because, you know, his name is Raheem. And her name is Robin, Rihanna. So, I wonder, will they give it an R name? What if they name her, like, Rare? Or Rage? Or Rebel? Ooh, Rebel would be such a cute name. Rebel Fenty. Yes. Love that. Love it. Rain is played out. Everybody uses rain. Um, Ruby. No, everybody does Ruby now. I like Rebel. I think that would be such a dope name for a ASAP and Rihanna baby. Yes. What do you guys think that Rihanna is going to have? And what do you think that she's going to name her? Let's talk down below in the comment section.
And last up for this video, we have Danny Lay's brother, Brandon Beals, who is back in the news. This is his update on the fight that he had with the baby at the bowling alley a few months ago. Check out what he had to say. I wake up this morning to a whole bunch of news, a whole bunch of people tagging me, you know what I'm saying? Happy Easter, everybody. We got to wake up the next day to a whole bunch of stuff that I don't even know about. You know, I was never cooperating, you know, I was never gonna cooperate. I was never gonna put nobody in jail. I've been in jail myself. I'm not gonna put nobody in that situation. You feel me? So, all y'all talking all that snitch shit, you know, y'all might as well put a quit to that cuz ain't nobody a snitch here. Never will be a snitch, never was a snitch. That shit went viral, the whole world saw it. You know what I'm saying? They came to me. They asked me what happened. I said, look at the video. The video tell you everything. It went viral. Millions of people saw it. I don't need to say anything. You feel me? But at the end of the day, I ain't about to go press charges and go to trial and go do all that. You feel me? No, I don't feel you, nor do I feel your hair. What in the Eminem 2002 is going on here, sir? Are you having an identity crisis? What is going on, Jesus? If you don't grow your hair back and get them braids back, sir, because I don't know what in the hell possessed you to go down to the local CVS or Walgreens. I don't know, Dwayne Reed. Why did you go in the, uh, the hair care section and get you a Clairol's Honey Blonde that came out piss blonde? hair dye and go home and do it yourself because obviously you didn't go and get that shit done because it is literally piss yellow and decide to then cut your hair off and give yourself a good old julius caesar <laughs> haircut like you about to star in the reboot of 300 sir what is going on i know he's supposed to be a rapper but this is not the look nor the move you can smooth down that shit however many times you want to sir you look a mess a mess and you keep on embarrassing your sister you are such a wankster and i have not used a wankster since 50 cent made the wankster song like you are such a wannabe thug sir like boy if you don't go sit down somewhere looking like you need to be an extra on a vegas show boy oh and you're lying because you was talking about pressing charge well no he was talking about suing the baby not pressing charges but suing the baby so let's not act like your ass was just like i'm so street i'm so hood da, 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 da. you talked all that shit beforehand saying when you saw him you was gonna catch a fade this that and the third and then when you saw that man you tried to go up to him and have a a, a pleasant conversation girl have several go kiss your niece and sit down and please go do something else with your hair that is it for today you guys make sure to thumbs up this video like and subscribe and hit that notification bell button i love you guys and i will see you on the next video peace